When I was a child, I would lie on, in our backyard underneath these huge oak trees and wonder, you know, where did we come from? Who are we? And of course, the great apes are our closest living relatives in the animal kingdom, and so I was very much drawn to them, animals who were very closely related to us. When I went to UCLA, I met Louis Leakey and told him what I wanted to do. I wanted to study orangutans because he was a great paleoanthropologist, archaeologist, and he was already a living legend. I knew that he would help me. Borneo was one of the last wild places left on this earth. It was very much isolated from the rest of the world. I couldn't believe it, it was like a dream. I was there to do science, I was there to do research on orangutan life histories. But I also knew that they were in trouble. Much of what we know about orangutans can be credited to Dr. Birute Galdikas. For over 50 years, Galdikas has conducted groundbreaking research and conservation efforts focused on critically endangered orangutans in the jungles of Indonesian Borneo. Through her organization, Orangutan Foundation International, she's dedicated herself to saving rainforest habitats, as well as the rehabilitation and release of hundreds of orphaned orangutans. Her early studies on orangutan behavior and ecology forever changed the way we thought of our close wild relatives. Birate is a magical person. She's absolutely a giant of conservation and a giant of biology. She did the studies on orangutans that have increased our knowledge of the lives of wild orangutans. There is no single site project that's been as long and illustrious as this one. I was following wild orangutans by myself, day in, day out. So I documented a lot of things that people didn't know about orangutans. I was elated. In the 1970s, Dr. Galdikas rose to fame as one of the leading voices of the emerging animal conservation movement. Alongside fellow primatologists Jane Goodall and Diane Fossey, she became part of a groundbreaking generation of field researchers. While Galdikas was gaining international recognition for her work, the reality of conservation efforts on the ground was anything but glamorous. Dr. G is very soft-spoken, but the life she has led in trying to save these orangutans is anything but soft. She almost died of malaria. She's been kidnapped. She's had death threats. And I don't know of anybody who's gone through quite as much as that. You know, you get a certain amount of, you might call it celebrity, but the celebrity doesn't protect you against the illegal loggers and the palm oil plantation concessionaires. I was struggling against an industry that was making billions of dollars. It did sometimes come to physical violence. The major impact of palm oil on orangutans is that it basically decimates their home. Because palm oil is grown in massive monocropped areas, the forest is cut down and they no longer have anywhere to live. At the heart of her mission stands Camp Leakey in Borneo's Tanjan Putin National Park. Here, orphaned orangutans learn vital forest skills from human caregivers before being returned to the wild, while critical conservation work continues under her guidance. Her legacy is secured as her son, Frederick, prepares to lead Orangutan Foundation International into the future. I've dedicated most of my life to uh, orangutans and conservation, so it will not stop here. That whole legacy of sustainability, we're just continuing what you're doing. Jelas, uh, Dr. Birute itu memang menginspirasi untuk banyak orang. Saya berpikir kalau tidak ada Dr. Birute, mungkin orangutan I think we need orangutans 
because we need nature. We need around the towns to teach us how we are human. They show us where we've been. They also help us understand where we're going.